Hi, just a quick video looking at a potential fan upgrade for the Rigol DHO 800 uh, and 900 uh, series scope because there's a lot about talk about the uh, fan noise which might annoy uh, some people. It's, you know, you can hear it. Anyway, um, this is the fan that's uh, used inside here. It's a tiny little thing and uh, I thought a uh, basically 45 millimeter uh, diameter uh, frameless uh, jobby, very common on uh, GPU, like old school uh, GPUs and uh, stuff like that. Anyway, um, and I've already done a uh, second channel video on uh, basically you need a fan on this thing. It'll overheat and it'll shut down even in room temperature, like lab uh, temperature things here. Anyway, I've got two um, uh, Delta fans, of course, uh, top quality um, uh, fans. You can get the, I got these off DigiKey and uh, they have them in stock. So let's have a squiz. So I'll put the model numbers and links down below uh, for these, but uh, basically two different ones. This one's slightly bigger than this one. They're all 12 volt uh, fans, as is this one. But um, as you saw in the uh, previous thermal testing video on this, uh, this was running at um, eight volts, I think it was. So they're actually uh, derating that fan just to get it a bit quieter because they don't need the full uh, airflow afforded by the uh, 12 volts on there. Um, these are both uh, three wire um, jobbies, but we can just use the uh, two wire and ignore the uh, taco output. Both of these do seem to physically fit, but let's have a look. This is the nearest uh, one. Is uh, You can see that the fan blades are a bit thicker on this uh, Delta one. So yeah, and, and they're a bit more vertical. These are like, it is a slimmer, Oh no, the overall thickness is basically the same there, but the Delta actually has a bigger, more vertical fan. So it's going to get, I would presume, greater airflow for a given, uh, you know, for a nominal uh, RPM. So yeah, very similar, but unfortunately um, they are this uh, tri-mount, but they don't have, I mean, it's hard to show you there, but the footprints don't quite line up like that. The holes don't line up. The Delta ones, the holes are further apart like that. And both Delta fans, I think, have, yep, they've got the same uh, pin out, so to speak. Here is, again, this is much, much thicker. Look at this, right? But it does still fit in the case. So um, yeah, and I think I'll put up the rating of uh, these two units. I think one's like 28, 29 dB, um, something like that at the full, uh, like 3000 full RPM. So we're not going to get the full RPM at a uh, lower voltage, but yeah, even this bigger, fatter one just has enough room to fit. So if you see, if I mount the uh, the fat one, we'll call it, okay, the fat delta in there, um, yeah, we can't screw into the existing things, but look, it, it ju there's just enough clearance on the heatsink here, and it's not quite, it's not absolutely perfectly centered. Let's just see if at the same, uh, like, 8 volt, nominal 8 volt uh, output, if this one is actually uh, just lower noise. Just some simple bench tests here. Uh, at 8 volts, uh, taking 70 milliamps here, I've got the fat delta. Sure, that's not next to the heatsink, other obstacles, but that... I'm, ah, uh, like, I can hear it, but geez, it's low. Okay, I've got my microphone actually uh, pointed towards it. There's not really any airflow there to disturb the mic. So that's a reference, or oh, shut up, and you'll get a reference for this uh, fat delta. There's the original Rigol one, and I've got to admit, it's probably the same, I would say. Yeah, so I think, um, yeah, well, as you'd expect, um, it's generating extra uh, noise by, like, just the airflow being next to all these fins on here, and maybe some uh, radiation, you know, some vibrational noise uh, coming through as well, because it's vibrating, but... It's not much difference, but the thing is, this thing I think is going to give greater airflow. Um, it'd be tricky to set up airflow measurement um, stuff for this uh, sort of thing, but we could potentially actually run this at a lower voltage anyway, but it still remains to be seen. Uh, the proof is when you uh, put it in the unit itself and actually put the back on. And that takes the same current, by the way. And that's the slim Delta One, and yeah, you definitely don't want to use that one. That is noticeably louder than the other two. Wow. 
and it is drawing significantly more current too so maybe it's just going faster i mean they're all going to have different characteristics um rpm for a given voltage right i got some double-sided uh tape on that so that fits um uh, very slim double-sided tape so hopefully it's still <laughs> it still actually fits in here okay only one way to find out let's power it up ah no it just got caught so yeah, no, it must be touching. Ah, oh, it's probably the double-sided tape. There we go. Ah, uh, no, that's pretty whiny. I'd say potentially more whiny when it's next to the fins there. So I don't think that even if that fits, it's not going to deaden it. So uh, wah, 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 I think. Um, but anyway, as I said, uh, increased airflow, I believe. So we could uh, potentially drop that voltage down and run at a slower speed. Aha, uh -huh. I just noticed that there's some raised bits in here. Look at this, um, that are right over the fan. Oh, bugger. So I reckon if I shave those down, you can just cut them off with a pair of side cutters, I guess. Don't have to dremel it and get all me medieval on its ass. Um, yeah, I reckon we can uh, make room for that. Nothing you can't fix with a pair of side cutters. No wackers. And sure enough, that fits and works. Just shave off <laughs> part of the uh, parts up the top. Here, it's not directly in the center. Um, but right off the bat, I can tell you that is louder than the original, unfortunately. But at the same voltage. Once again, I think the airflow is significantly higher. All right, I went to a lot of effort to find my anemometer. You won't believe where I found it. Here's a photo of it. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, okay, so I'm going to do some crude measurements here. I've got the uh, fat delta in here, um, uh, blaring away. And for some reason, this stupid thing won't let me change it to like meters per second or whatever. It's kilometers an hour. Anyway, there you go. So I put it like directly over the fan there just to get sort of like the inlet, um, you know, or whatever vortex thing is happening whatever flow is happening there anyway i'm just going to put it into some street strategic locations for comparison so yeah 31 kilometers an hour does that change if we yeah that's uh oh actually that really changes a lot that really you have to get it you have to get it right over the top that is sensitive isn't it okay no that's 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 fairly repeatable though 31, okay. Can we get anything at all down there? I've got it right up against the um, end stop here, the f foot. So, 1.3. Oh, I killed it. <laughs> Luckily, I ordered two of them. Um, yeah, no, I think I'm going to have to uh, really, you need to hold this in place. So, I think I'm going to have to go to the effort to um, just drill a couple of um, small mounting holes in there because it's the same uh, angles and everything. It's just that the mounting holes are off. So, yeah, I think I'm going to have to go to that effort. Ugh. Okay, I've put the original fan back in and you can see roughly the same, isn't it? But regardless of what I do, I can't get any airflow out the bottom here. Nothing. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, inlet is kind of like similar but uh, I don't know it's too much variability in this sort of test all right I've got the delta skinny in there and uh yeah we're getting about 35 so that's technically the highest out of them but it is the loudest because uh for a given uh well do an extra rpm it's just it's just noisier there we go I'm able to get it yeah one 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 point two so 1.3, so that seems to be the bestest fan, but you'd expect that because I think it's uh, operating at a higher RPM. Yeah, I found a much better metric. Just stand it up vertically, sit the ammometer on top, and 3.3, 3.4, 3.5 kilometers an hour. This is with the Delta Skinny. This is the original fan, uh, 2.7 kilometers an hour. So... Yeah, it's um, it, the noise kind of uh, is proportional to the amount of airflow, pretty much. 
All right, I've got the fat delta in there. I've actually uh, screwed it down. I just cut down, rather than drill the holes in the uh, little arms, I just cut them down until it uh, just like fitted on the ends and then the screws are sort of holding that in. And I've screwed the case in, so it does actually, it does actually fit. Um, although this is the one blade missing jobby still, so it's probably a bit louder than uh, what it should be, but talking 3.2 there, so yeah, um, we can we can drop that. We can drop the uh, voltage on that, so I can put my uh, replacement good good fan fat delta in there. Uh, I can drop it. Oh, geez, you can feel the wobble. You feel the imbalance, the the vibration. Oh my god, I wonder if we can pick that up. Mm, I don't think we're going to be able to pick that up on the microphonics of the input capacitor. I mean, that's that's really down in the noise there. So, eh, I doubt it. I'm not going to go to the bottom of the FFT, that. All right, let's just crudely experiment here. I've got the uh, fat delta in here, the one with the, all the blades this time. So, uh, yeah, we're getting 3 point... Oh, I saw 3.6 before 3.5, thereabouts. So we're feeding that. Let's just try whacking 100 ohm in series. That does make it quieter. Really changes the wine. You're probably not hearing that, but we're dropping down to oh, 2.2, oh, 2.1 now, 2, 2, it's going to go under, is it? Yeah, yeah, 1.8. Yeah, it's just, it's not much anymore, is it? Whether or not that's enough airflow, you'd have to do thermal tests, but that, I mean, noise is still there, but it's, it's not really as annoying as the original. Yeah, I don't think you'd want to go below that. Like, if we go to 200, we're probably... Are we going to... Are we going to stop the thing? <laughs> no. No, it's still going. Barely. Barely. <laughs> Barely. Oh, God, it's halved. Yeah. Yeah, nah. <laughs> I think uh, that's that's not going to do the business uh, at all. But anyway, we can put that back to zero, and we can adjust the voltage. Somewhere between four and five, maybe four and a half there, is where... We had it before. Well, I can tell by the airflow, really. So we're on 2 at the moment. 1.9. So, you know, if, if you drop the 8 down to, say, 5, um, then, yeah, you're, you're pretty much on target. So just below 5 there or thereabouts. Anyway, 5 is significant. I'm going to put my mic close to that, and uh, this is at 8 volts, and we'll lower that. There you go, that's at 5. And that's at 8. It's quite a significant difference. So what's left to do, I guess, is I'm probably going to stick my probe back up its clacker and uh, just see what uh, the temperature gets, because uh, I do have a reference in that video I uploaded uh, the other week. But in any case, I certainly wouldn't call that, like, silent. It's definitely a lot better, but, eh, probably not, you know, I mean, a lot of people want, you know, like, oh, I want a silent fan, and I just don't think you're going to get that with these, um, just these small ass fans like this, I think you're going to have to go for the 100 millimeter jobby on the back. And then, yeah, it will be completely silent, but, you know, it changes the form factor a bit on the back. And uh, then if you want to mount the visa mount as well, then um, like a visa arm on the thing, then eh, it becomes a bit troublesome. But, yeah, possible. All right, I'm doing the same test I did uh, last time. Got uh, two thermal uh, probes in here. One's 41.5, the other's 42.1. We were getting uh, 39.5 before. So we're getting a couple of degrees C increase. Uh, the ambient temp, according to my aircon, is the same as 25 degrees uh, C in here. So this is at uh, 5 volts there. So I've had it on for like an hour. I could leave it on longer, but I think it's probably thermally equalized uh, now. So, yeah, what, we're talking two and a half degrees, maybe two degrees C increase, which is not a lot from dropping it um, from eight volts down to five volt drive. So, 
it's certainly possible. And that is with the fat uh, Delta fan. I don't think you're going to get the same noise with that uh, little skinny uh, Delta jobby. So yeah, um, you just have to... Uh, mounting's a little bit dodgy, I mean, but I managed to uh, just cut off the ends of uh, these here and um, yeah, so cut them to the right length and the screws just like go over the uh, ends of that. So that should be good enough for Australia. And I'd, you could potentially glue it down, but that would eventually come off uh, with the vibration, I think. Um, Double-sided tape, I, you're probably not going to get stuff thin enough because it's a real tight fit in there, I think. Anyway, you might be able to uh, get away with that. So you only get a couple of degrees C increase there, but it's working. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't have a problem with a couple of degrees C increase. So it looks like yeah, it's possible. You can, you know, lower and change the uh, uh, spectrum of the uh, fan noise by putting in that fat delta jobby.